So now I have my brand new reel, my fly line, my leader, and some backing. We're going to spool all these up. It's super easy. Step one is let's start by attaching the backing to the reel. The easiest way to do this is with what's called an arbor knot. Now I like to do this by removing the spool of the reel and simply placing it on your table. Now take the end of your backing and wrap it around your spool of your reel two full times. Now we're ready to actually form the knot. In order to do the arbor knot, we've wrapped around the reel two full turns. We're going to take the end of the backing and we're going to make an overhand knot. But we're going to do it around the big end of the backing. So pass it around the big end of the backing and now make an overhand knot. So you can see I've just made an overhand knot with the main line passing through. It's essentially a slip knot. What I like to do is take that little end and pass it through a second time. Now I have a double overhand knot and I can tighten it up. Now before I secure all this knot, I'm going to take this small end of the backing and I'm going to tie another double overhand knot. So I have a, an overhand knot. I'm going to pass it through a second time and tighten it. And that's just so this thing won't slip out. Now, use your scissors to cut this, but when you cut the backing, leave a little end there. Don't cut it right against the knot. Now, the arbor knot's essentially done. We've made a slip knot. Remember what we've done. We've got passed around the spool two full turns. Then we've made a double overhand knot with a small end around the big end, and a second double overhand knot on there. We can just tighten it up. I like to just pull on it. Nice and easy. Now, once it feels like it's starting to get snug, turn your reel so it's vertical. And I'm going to pull one direction. And then pull back the other direction. And just work this back and forth a couple times. Now it's nice and snug against the spool. And our backing is completely attached to our reel. That's the arbor knot. Now once you've tied the arbor knot, and the backing is attached to the spool. Now we can spool up the reel. Put your spool back on. And then we can spool this up. Easy enough. Now I'm ready to attach my fly line to my backing. When you open up your box with your fly line in it, first thing you want to do is just take off these silly little tags and each brand will do that differently. You want to look for the end of the line that has a tag on it. It's going to say this end attaches to the reel. So make sure we're attaching the correct end. So there's my tag. I'm good to go. Now most modern day fly lines are now coming with a loop to loop connection, a welded loop on the back end. I do not like the loop, so I'm going to remove it. The loop does not pass through the guides as cleanly as a nail knot does, so we're going to do a nail knot. We're going to take a piece of tippet. We're going to form a loop. We're going to use a little piece of masking tape. And just tape the two ends on that so we have a little loop of monofilament to deal with. We're going to use this tool, which is a small stiffener. You can use anything you like. So now we have our fly line, our backing, our stiffener and the loop we made. Hold your fly line, take the stiffener and place it against the fly line. Now we'll take our loop that we created 
and we're going to place them all together. So now we have the fly line, the stiffener, and the loop all held together. Now we can tie our nail knot with our backing. Now remember, the other end of this backing is attached to our reel, so we can only work with this end. So I want plenty of material to work with, so I'll, I'll allow myself 8 or 10 or 12 inches to work with. Now we're going to wrap the little end of the backing around everything in our bundle, but we're going to wrap away from our hand. So I just start wrapping. Three, four, five, six, seven. I will typically do five to seven turns unless I'm dealing with a saltwater fly line or a sinking fly line, in which case I typically do seven to ten. I'm going to move that out of my way and take the tag end, the little end, and push it down through the little loop that you made. Now, the knot's almost done. Hold the loops with one hand and gently we'll pull down on our loop here. That'll pull that little end to almost go through. You don't need to force this. Don't force this. Just pull it till it's tight. Then reach through and grab your stiffener and pull it out. Now remember the secret with all nail knots is to never let go of your fingers once you hold the loops. Now we can pull this the rest of the way through. And we'll just keep pulling until it's tight. Once I feel it start to snug up, I will pull a little on that end and a little on this end and a small tug and start rolling this with your two fingers as you feel it to start tightening up. Roll them together, little tug, little tug, little tug, and keep going until you feel like in between your fingers you can feel that it's snugged up. Then you can let go. Now once we let go, we have our nail knot. We just need to complete the tightening process. And I'll just give a little pull pull here. Patience is the key on a nail knot. It's an easy knot to tie, but if you're impatient and you try to do it too quickly, the loops will cross and you won't be happy with the end product. So once you get it as tight as you think it needs to be, give it one good final tug there, and then cut these very, very close if you do get a big fish that runs you well into your backing, you don't want this knot catching on the guides as it goes through the guides. So cut it nice and close. Do the same thing on this end. And we'll simply reel this up on our reel. Now we have our fly line completely spooled up on our reel with our backing. We used an arbor knot, we used a nail knot, and now we're going to attach the leader to the fly line. So when you take your leader out of the package, it's all coiled up like this. I'm going to show you the easiest way to undo this. What I like to do is take three fingers and put the whole loop on three fingers. Now take the fat end, find the big fat end of the leader, and just feed it underneath itself like that. You can see how it's all twisted. Just push that and undo it. And usually they'll have three to four times. And now just keep that on your three fingers. Spread your three fingers up. I don't want you to get a knot here. And pull the long end until this all comes off of your hand. Now when you pull your leader out of the package and we undo it like this, we don't have knots, but we're going to get knots if we're not careful because you notice it's all twisted up. So the best way to take those out is to hold the fat end of the leader with one hand and just hold it good and tight and then just start pulling through. It'll heat up as it goes through your hand. 
And as it heats up, it'll stretch that leader just a little bit and it'll pull all those kinks and coils out of it so that it'll be very easy to work with. We want to do this every time we fish as well. The reason why these memory coils are in here is because it's been spooled up. When it sits on the reel, it'll do the same thing. So we'll need to do this every time we fish. Just hold it tightly and pull it through. And you can see now it lays nice and flat and we don't have all those kinks and coils anymore. Now we can tie our knot. And we're going to take the loop on the leader and the loop on the fly line and we're going to interconnect these. There's a proper way to do it and I'm going to show you which one it is. If your leader does not have a loop, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. If your fly line does not have a loop, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that too. For those of us that have our loops, we're going to take the leader. Don't put it through this hole. Take the leader and thread it completely onto the fly line, like this. Take the end of the leader, the small end, and push it through the loop in the fly line. Now we'll just pull it until it tightens up. You can see that it will pull together in a perfect figure eight. That is the easiest way to connect these. Now we have our fly line completely ready. We have our backing, we have our fly line, and we've attached our leader. I like to leave just a little bit of leader hanging out the end. I don't like to reel it all the way up because then it's hard to find the end. So I just leave a little bit of leader hanging out and I'm ready to go fishing.